Oh boy. Just love to fly and fly. Oop. I'm good. I'm fine. So we're going around on the lake floor this time. Oh. Okay, rude. I didn't know it was going to go up. Oh well. I'm out. Oh, that's not a platform. No! <laughs> that could have worked. From above. <laughs> no. It like, doesn't let me hover. I have to be ready. Hello down there. Ah! Okay, we're fine. See? Sequence break. Completely time efficient, too. <laughs> Alright, let's patiently wait for the thingy. Water's mean. Thanks for the lift, by the way. I didn't catch your name. I don't think you're I don't think you're allowed to hover when you're getting out of it. No oh, fuck. Oh uh, Keep not quite landing where I mean to. Up in the air, junior man. They really <laughs> They got a guy who has to burp a lot, and he can't burp, apparently. And then they left all of that in, and didn't, like, overdub it with somebody actually burping. <laughs> it feels like a weird choice to me. It's just weird that it burping is in his script constantly, but the voice actor can't really do it. You think they would just have a guy burp? And then put that in. No one would notice. Ah, oh, it doesn't sound like it was an authentic burp. That was like somebody else's burp. <laughs> hey, don't get so close. Wait, no, I want that. What if you gave me thing instead of not giving me a thing? You consider that? Wait a Whoa! I don't know about this place. We're inside of a cake. Hello. Uh oh. <laughs> around that corner a little fast. Ah, oh, it started off facing me. There we go. Oh, it's one of these. This bare, barely used mechanic. Once every two hours or three hours, you're like, oh yeah, you can jump on walls a bit. Shit. Oh. easier to do on this side. That was like one of the only specific things I really wanted to unlock was just the fact that I could make that thing a super jump. Most of the other powers, eh. Ow. Yeah. I wish the I wish your your shooting power could be aimed with a joystick. I, I, it always feels like I should be able to gesture in the direction of an enemy, and then it would hit them. But instead, it shoots at the uh, where the camera is currently facing, which is not usually how third-person games work, because like the camera doesn't follow the way I'm walking. Oh, no, stop it! So now it did. I don't know. Give. Don't fall off this time. Flashback to me slowly losing my mind because <clears throat> the game would throw all of the healing items off the cliff every time. Oh, it's immune to clairvoyance right now. Why? Why would it be immune to clairvoyance sometimes? What is that mechanic? So that's why that confusion happened, I guess. It was immune for a while, and then it wasn't immune. Bad mood around here. What causes it to be immune? Nothing's happening. Those things are really vulnerable to side blast. Wow, remind me not to invite you to my wedding. Why, too cool for you? <laughs> I think I hear some emotional. Yeah, no, they just cry forever. It's fine. Sometimes it's left to just let it 
Sometimes it's best just to leave feelings to fester forever and never address them. And definitely never tell anyone about them or in any way process them. It's called the 50s. Hello. Gross brain bugger monster nightmare thing. What's that sound? Just the brain, just the bag, I think. Was I supposed to go somewhere up there? Yep. Where, where did the camera cut to when it showed them running away? Oh, so was it over here? In here, there we go. Ah. Hello, surrender. Look, I've already given Bob two of those seeds. They're harmless. You what? You have no idea the harm you've done, do you? Obviously, Time that's what the words I said serious. meant. Why? Why so serious? Oh. I'm running out of places to hide this thing. You're not really hiding it, you're just flying around with it and this it glows. Good. Nobody actually eats wedding cake, right? Oh. Well, I like wedding cake. Down here, kid. Get me out of here. I don't want to miss the ceremony. Oh, is, is eating wedding cake something I'm supposed to be ashamed of now? Is that is this a cultural faux pas of some kind that I've... What is it? What the fuck is he talking about? Nope, too far. Well, now you all get to live with my mistakes. <laughs> oh, they look like onions. The little frosting daubs. These are the weird stilts. The bouncy? Ah! Wow, that is not where, I, where the jump was supposed to go. Okay, it is a bouncy. It was just really hard to land on, I guess. Okay. I appreciate you offering to carry me down the aisle. My uh, regular carrier broke the wing when we crashed into the champagne tower. I'm fine though. Didn't feel a thing. They're Thanks dead. A lot to crack this old noggin. Is that a Mobius strip? You know what? I don't think... Oh, yeah, that's good. Uh, I'm feeling a little off. And I don't want to ruin the ceremony. Oh. See what I mean? My god. Well, that was a horror. Why is it made of cement with the scaffolding in it, or whatever it's called? The framing. The what's nuts. Yep. The stuff. Black. Bloop. 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 Kill me. What am I jumping at? Is it a ladder? I am too close to these nipples. They're too detailed. Yes, teeth, take me. All right. <laughs> I, Robert Zanotto, take this man, Helmut Fulbear. The happiest day of my life. I used to think I loved plants more than people until I met this man. When these feelings appeared in my heart, I thought they were weeds and I tried to pull them out. But this mighty oak has given me shade, shelter, and something to lean on when I needed it. Just when I thought I was turning to seed, you made me bloom again. I do. Well, good news. 
uh, Full Bear is still alive, and he's been upgraded to Elijah Wood. Good to see you again, Helmet. I'll make sure this gets back to Bob. Really need to find that one. Nick? Yeah, we need to go find Nick's brain still. Well, Bob, you did it! Yep, I did it. Oh, it's a nightmare. Why so nervous? I'm just. I'm starting to remember why I got rid of those seeds. I warned you, and I warned you, but did you listen? No! But don't worry, I'm here to protect you. Again. What are you doing to him? Leave him alone! I'm protecting him! <gasps> protecting him? From what? You're about to find out! I'm pretty sure I recognize her voice too. Ow, rude. Oh. No, not a water level. What? Oh. Oh, that feels weird. Okay, so you're like in lanes. Pew, 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 pew. Pew, 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 pew. You're not taking much damage. Can you take more damage? I think there's only two lanes. Yeah, you go all the way up or all the way down. Uh-oh. What do I do when it's coming up in front of me? What? Uh, what am I supposed to be doing? <laughs> Mixing up a special one for you. Oh, could you? Can I, I can't really so aim these. I don't think. Oh, okay, that's probably bad. That's fine. What is it, like $7.99? So he's all dragon themed. He, oops, he's a cactus. Yeah, what do I do when they show up in front of me? How do I avoid them? Uh, can't see them very well. Can't levitate. I don't think I can shoot at them. Hit the one I want, dang it. There we go. Ah. Sh ah. I, I don't trust it to shoot the, the obvious thing that I wanted to shoot. <laughs> okay, what do I do about these bombs? I can't... I know I can shoot them, but how do I shoot them? I've shot one before, but I don't... I don't I, how do I aim? Oh, the camera still turns. Whoops. <laughs> I'm, an, I'm an idiot. <laughs> My brain just kind of reset while I was dealing with the new control scheme, and I just didn't think that I didn't think I was able to control the camera for some reason. All right, well, that happened. Oh, I can aim at all of them. Hold on. 
Recon agents in auto. I'll get you out of there. I totally thought it was a fixed camera and I was pressing the left stick in certain directions thinking that it would control what direction it fires in and it was kind of working, but it could have been just coincidence. I need one of you to talk at a time. I knew those seeds were bad news. Oh, now you've gone and put him into a bad mood again. You said the words. I think I need to figure out what's causing You make it so hard for me to do my job. I kind of thought it'd be like some kind of theming for the bad mood, like, oh, you gotta find the thing that's causing it. Oh no! And but you, re but you really do just like find a cage every single time. It doesn't have like the like the what are they called? Figments? Yeah. Like it's not like a figment situation where it, like it's contextualized by some kind of imagery. It's, I think it's always the same little thing. Almost had it. I just need to focus on stronger and clear point. I need to know what's causing it before I can get rid of it. Please let me in. There we go. I can find the cause of this bad mood. Hit there. It gets wiped out super fast. I don't think gardening is supposed to hurt this much. It doesn't need to hurt at all. need to hurt you, I mean. Your attempts to shield him are cutting him off from the world and he has nothing left. How can I hit that? Why the fuck of... Okay. My controls are reversed. Rude. Oh, wait. How many buttons are... Con uh... Okay, wow, that sucks. <laughs> I think it also reversed my triggers? All my controls were weird. Oh, no. Uh. Oh, and you also can't see very well. Ah! It's a lot of bad news at once. She is awful. Okay, so avoiding that is number one priority. That thing sucks. Tomatoes! Yeah, you can't shoot them until they're in the water, I guess. No! You. I hate you. Ah, shit. Get that one. Whoop! Oh god! Ah, back and forth. Okay. I dodged the pixie stuff, but also the fire. Kind of. Mostly. Something. I'm trying to keep an eye on her the entire time, but obviously there's like a whole level to be played. Nope. She's the one that actually gets me all the chances to actually do damage, I think. There we go. Why don't you get lost, kid? How can you do this to Bob? You love him. Love? <laughs> I don't really love him. If I did, how could I have left him all alone? Helmet? Helmet would... Never say that! Hey! It's not safe here! Hey! I'll keep you safe. You won't feel this at all. <laughs> oh god, nope.
Yeah, why can't you? You just can't hit him. Oh, damn it, shot the wrong one. You don't actually... You have really mixed controls here. All right. Is she gonna stop doing that to me now? Is she not gonna throw the stuff at me anymore? Mixing up a special one for you. Uh, ah, fuck. Ah, I've hit them before, but now I can't. There we go. Who's a giant wagon man? Should heal a little bit just in case. Take them all out. We're gonna slowly repair your psyche with the power of gay romance. What's up? You, you okay? We gotta hit one of them. Oh, that one. Ah, uh, it's behind his head. No. Just, uh, am I? Can I hit? Can I do damage during other parts of the fight besides just shooting him very slowly? Because the missiles obviously do a lot of damage, right? But I don't know if the other ones have options that I'm just not noticing. Like, can I knock these tomatoes back at him? I pretty much just try to clear them all out because they're just... Well, they're taking time bombs. Yes, give me those missiles. Ah, that was close. Got him. so bad at gardening yourself think you can handle them now willing to give it a try how about those uh oh well I'll just take them one at a time it's an entire life you the constellation Yep, all the bottles in the blue bin. Bottle caps, too. Hey, that too. We're recycling plastic now. Can you believe it? So, uh, Agent Sonato, think you could help me with a little... yard work? Wow, what a mess. Yeah. I mean, it's impressive as far as strength and mass, but in terms of aesthetics, it's all over the place. You talking about the vines or that beard? Who's this? Helmet. So this is where you ran off to. Figures. What? It's me, Bobby. It's your psyching. But how? Where's your body? I was lost for a long time until this one found me. Body's on loan from the mailroom. Hang on. Borrowed lips. Wouldn't be right. Yeah. And he's not as cute as you either. Well, neither are you right now. Come on, let's at least wash that beard. What's that smell? Mushrooms? You know I hate mushrooms. I know. Now I just need some help with those killer bees. Hey, progress happened regardless. That was sweet. And they had a little moment of like, <laughs> you can tell that they had the, the consideration of the air, like, should they kiss? And it's like, wait a minute. Hang on a minute. <laughs> this has happened in other things, and then everyone is like, hang on a minute. This is a concerning thing to do with somebody else's body. I don't care about telekinesis or melee. 
Uh, but these are all maxed out. Uh, wrecking Ball attacks. Do I get one more power? I don't care about Clairvoyance, Telekinesis, or Melee. Yeah. I guess I'll do this one, because every now and then I probably just wrecking ball an accident, basically. The vines are gone, but there's no way I'm going near those beats. Alright, so we need to go find the B team. <laughs> Check out these new time bubble bins. He kinda came out of nowhere, didn't he? We we did not we did not come here with helmet. He just showed up when it was relevant, I guess. Did you say there was new ones? Speeds up objects and enemies rather than slowing them down. Uh, why? Would I want that? I don't know why I would want that. It looks like the Firefox logo. That'll get you out of a sticky situation. Come back anytime. I'm just gonna buy it because I might spot a situation where it might seem relevant. Because it almost seems like a puzzle-solving mechanic or something. Like how you use slowing to solve some problems. Hmm. Is it time to take a spin in the brain tumbler? Oh, the collective unconscious. Actually, I don't want to go to the collective unconscious right now. That's the hub. Which I can go back to if I want to collect that one brain that I left in the game show thing, but also... Eh. Ow. Stop it. I think this is where I just came from, so... What other direction can I try? That direction is not a direction. Is the middle one the one we came from? Oh yeah, this seems new. Oh yeah, this is... Yeah. Oh no. He said like seven things overlapping each other, didn't he? How are you feeling? I feel so much better. I love being in a body again so much. Every sight, every sound, every everything. How are you feeling? I feel so much better. I love being in a body again so much. Every sight, every sound, every everything. Elijah Wood was really good in uh, I Don't Feel at Home in This World Anymore. So there I, was, I, re I really like that movie. Grip of Lake Rulovia. My life flashing before my eyes. Oh my god, what did you do? I said a prayer. I thought of you. Aww. And then I remembered the super sneezing powder I keep for emergencies. You blew your brains out? Right through my nose and up to the surface where I assume Ford found it. His mind must have been shattered before he could tell us about it. So I just ended up in Otto's unclaimed brains bin. So, uh... Where's your body? I assume it's a handsome popsicle at the bottom of Lake Rulovia. Well, let's get back and get it. It would be nice to see how well I've aged. Or maybe not aged. Not fair. Your body's been preserved on ice for 20 years. Mine looks like this. Ah, you'll look a lot younger after we shave that beard. Oh, you do not want to see what is under this hair. Oh, what is it? Honestly, uh... I have no idea. So, this body is from someone named Nick from the mailroom? So I'm told. Uh, first question, w when did we get a mailroom? No idea. I don't go over to the new place much. The second question, where's mailman Nick's brain? Lost there you go. is what I hear. Well, they should search Otto's creepy brain collection. He doesn't keep the best records. Hey, want some gooby duck? Yes. Wait, what is it? Fermented mushroom liquor. <laughs> it's all I drink now. Well, uh, all I used to drink. Yeah, no. We're smashing that horrible distillery. Honestly, it smells like you've been boiling gym socks in there. If you smash it, where will I boil my gym socks? Bobby, germs! <laughs> oh. And also, I'm pretty sure that you have to keep, like, any kind of brewery situation, like super sterile. Hello. Well, 
that's a bit high up. Can I make that? Oh well. It probably is just a stray, st stray thought and I don't remember how to get those, so... That'll just be a new, a new thing to frustrate people. I don't think it matters. Progression barely matters. Collectibles ma barely matter. It's just because you want to. Which, go ahead. Oh, you just stopped dead in your tracks. Well, oh. Survived more than I thought. What? Wait, what happened? Beast Smoker is private property, not for trespass. Oh. Oh, you gotta do the thing, um, uh, but, but, did it, but, that. There you go. Now I've got. There we go. Can I make this jump? I thought, I thought, because I died right on the honey, I thought the honey is what caused the bees to get me. The honey doesn't even matter, huh? Okay. You're doing a lot of taunting, which always results immediately in us getting in trouble afterwards, Raz. Be a humble winner. Hello. On the right side, this phone sticks conveniently to your face while you're talking. There we go. Hello? You! Green Needle Witch! You don't exist! You're just something someone put into my mind. Which means... There's probably a very powerful psychic nearby. Another hallucination! A very solid hallucination! Oh man, are you gonna cast a spell or something? Who are you? How did you get in here? And where was our security, eh? Cassiopeia? Author of Mind Swarm? Ford Kreller brought me through security. Ford? Ford Crawler? Came back? Oh, I knew it! I knew he would! But I'm not ready! I've been trying to fix this place up for him, but don't you know these bees are so demanding? Ford wants me to turn on the astrolabe, but it's covered in, well, really angry bees. Know anything about that? Oh, I think I can help you with that. I'm just to be useful again. Get out of my way. Ford needs me. Oh, I can tend to the queen later. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. She says I can't talk to you anymore. Wait! Cassie! Who's she? Been taken over by the queen? Wow. So we have like four of like the psychic six in here, don't we? Was it six? Oh, buzz buzz yourself, bees. Cassie? Shh, they'll hear you. Cassie, would you sign my copy of Mind Swarm? I was wondering when you were going to ask. What took you so long? It's the first thing I did. Thanks, Cassie. So, are you the Green Needle Witch? What? Why would you say such a thing? Because you're so pointy. Those are pine needles. They stick to the honey on my suit. I can't help it. Because you lurk through the woods in the dark. I do my beekeeping at night because this darn bee suit is so hot. Because you're so tall. Okay, well, I do wear lifts in this thing so I can reach the upper hives, but what beekeeper doesn't do that? No reason. Well, 
I'll admit, I have been playing into the legend a little bit. Why? I need to keep people away from here to protect it. This is a sacred place. Would you mind if I snuck a peek inside your mind? Oh, thank you. I haven't had a checkup since Ford went away. It's weird how receptive people are to you jumping in their mind. <laughs> like, we fucked up the first person really bad. Cassie? Bees? It makes it comparatively alarming when we just hop on in. And everyone's like, yeah, just go ahead. Cassie? I... It's okay, I know why you're here. Now, to whom shall I dedicate this inscription? Not that many people find their way in here these days. You must have a good head on your shoulders. Uh, definitely a big one. I was about to say, it's like 75% of just me. just imagine what you could do if you were using 175% of your brain. Actually, Cassie, I need your help with something else. We're on a critical mission, but there's a swarm of bees that's making it impossible. Stop right there, young man. Nothing is impossible. If you follow the 25 simple steps I've outlined in my book. Now then, let's go show these bees what we can do when we put our minds together. There's that pesky little volume. Thank you, young man. I have been looking for this silly book forever. Wait, she was going to help me. What? This one? <laughs> oh, I'll admit the author was helpful once, when we needed the money to leave the country, but that was a long time ago. But when the chips were down and we needed to fight to protect our friends? Ah, worthless. Is there another Cassie book in there that could help me? They are all restricted. Hmm. Then again, maybe I could help you. If you were to help me, there are two other books missing from my collection. Dangerous books. These are the books that got us into this horrible situation. These are the wrong books, you understand? Round them up for me. Take them out of circulation. They are overdue. Understand? Then you'll help me with the bees? I'll help you with the whole alphabet, Sonny. I'll help you with the whole alphabet. I feel like we should clarify that misunderstanding before we find out she can't do anything with bees or something. Eh. Ah, uh, yeah, whatever. This looks safe. Was it safe? Can't. I, I looked around and I couldn't spot what it did. I have no idea what the time limit was for. Ah. This nugget is saying to me, take me away. That one seems harder. Hey, can you help me find these books? I'm her favorite assistant and best assistant, and I already looked, so give it up. Tiny rat lady, what's up? What's your deal? Hello? Lower your voice, please. Where should I look for the missing books? Maybe you should start at the beginning. Have you tried the children's corner? Oh, that's what you mean by the beginning. What books am I looking for exactly? One is supposed to be a teacher's edition textbook, but I doubt there are any valuable lessons in there. The other is a lurid crime story. 
Ugh, terrible books. The sooner we get them in isolation, the better. Can I talk to that nice writer, Cassie, again? You don't want to talk to her. She seems harmless, but she's full of dangerous ideas about human potential. No offense, but I think you're running too tight a ship here. You can't keep people prisoner. Better to lock up a few books than have the entire library destroyed. Why do you want to round up these books? Because I'm the only one around here who cares about safety. I care. Great. The other Cassies had their chance to run things, and everybody got hurt. How did everybody get hurt? We all went to fight Olivia. And guess which motivational speaker thought she could talk sense into that monster? Ridiculous! It just made her mad, made things worse. So now, I'm in charge, and I keep all the books in order. All the important books. <laughs> I gotta run. No running in the library. This librarian aspect of Cassie's mind seems to have her whole psyche on lockdown. Until I figure out a plan, I'll play along with her scheme and avoid suspicion. Yeah, I can't f help but feel like there's like very little librarian -ing 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 going on in here. You claim that there's like a specific kind of book that's the important type, but like you have what? One of them? So you're not even doing good at that. But you're not willing to accept that this isn't working. Oh shit. How do I jump higher? You trampoline on these? Oh, no, you can just jump that high. Okay. That was a very brief window. It's a good thing I've got something for that. The whole thing's moving. That's a bit of a trip. Hmm. Got. Yeah, I'm not sure how I'll get most of these. They're way up there. Maybe you can climb the chain? Oh, you blah, blah, blah. oh well. No. Mm. All right. That happened. Come back here. Let me in. Is that a hint that this is the area where I'm finally gonna get the, get the power to go through bars and get those mail slots? We just need to pull both of these. Oh, this one opened. I'm not sure if I know what the other one correlates to. No. I mean, at least he's honest. This shouldn't take too long. Enabler. Oh. Seriously? Well, I think I know what order to kill you guys in. Oh. Dodge this, you're on fire now. Ah, shot nothing. Doggy. What's your deal, buddy? Hi. Memento mori. 
You're going to die. Remember that, please. Thank you. Otherwise, I'll forget. Having fun? Getting pretty sore, actually. This thing doesn't even have a saddle. Hi, I'm Raz. And I am the Lady of the Lake. Helper of knights on noble missions. Ooh, I'm on a noble mission. Can you help me? Sorry. I already gave my sword to a handsome knight fighting a dragon. And that's really my only purpose in life, so that's just the end for me, really. Hey, have you seen any runaway books? Uh, sorry. Smarts ain't my thing. Hmm. Well, bad place for you to be. The Lady in the Lake concept's just permanently ruined for me by Duralius. Ah, uh, only, I only wanted to freeze one of them by uh, Duralius and Associates, and they're just incredibly douchey Lady in the Lake character. What's the axe for? Bookworms. They hate my family. Like every animator, they're a Let's Player now. <laughs> they were in Subnautica. That's why I knew their voices so well. In, when they were in Subnautica, I'm like, that's the people from the thing! Hi, what's your name? Guten Tag, ich bin Gerda, the Pretzelmeister's daughter. Ooh, where's the Pretzelmeister? Papa fell into the pretzel machine. Oh gosh, I'm so sorry. Not to worry, it was his secret wish. Really? I think so. That's why I pushed him. Well, that was an emotional roller coaster. Never talk to me again. Bye, bye, bye. Wait a second. I don't remember being in this book. Oh, it's me. I'm over here. I tried to turn the page, but instead I am the page. Ish. The page master. Dude, this controls so much better in 2D. Do I not have a... I can't levitate. Vespa? 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 Is this Luca? There we go. Oh. Oh, I'm somewhere new now. Okay. I was gonna say we didn't really accomplish much in there, did we? Good dog. Oh. Good dog. Sorry for accidentally hitting you. Cassie, you gotta watch out. There's a giant uh you out there hunting for you! Don't worry, young man. The librarian can't get in here. That's why she sends in her... operatives. Who, me? I'm not an operative. I'm just playing along with her until I find the real Cassie. The real Cassie? Tell me, child, what is your name? Rasputin. And tell me, who is the real Rasputin? The one you are with your friends? With your family? Or the one you say for your special someone, hmm? Is that the real you? Or are you actually a combination of all those different identities? Important challenges in our lives can cause us to create entirely new identities for ourselves, sometimes summoning powerful archetypes from our unconscious mind. The hero, the explorer, the shadow. The fursona. My special talent allows me to summon up whatever archetype I need to survive my current situation. Would you like me to teach you how? Focus your mind's eye on... It's time for the last one. Here we go. Host. Try again. Doesn't open me! It's your OC. Oh! Well, very good. Woohoo! You'll get better with practice. Could you imagine if they brought back the voice actor that played Gurr? The moment it ran in circles around him, I'm like, oh my god. I don't know. 
archetype will act on its own sometimes, but you can also focus it on a specific task. Hi. I'm a fish! Look at my bones! Cool. <laughs> oh, there he goes. Your nimble archetype can squeeze through narrow openings. Focus your archetype on the door. Yep. I think if I use projection on this door, my archetype would go in there. Like that? Oh, Over look there. at him go. So cute. Nimble. Nimble. That's the spirit. Wait, is that the same voice actor? See where this little fellow takes you. I'll meet you at the end. And then I'll tell you my plan for the librarian. Look at him go. Wait, that might be him. Hey, I know you. Are you from The Mind and Introduction? Yes, yes, always nice to meet a fan. No time for autographs, though, sorry. Wow, conceited. Please excuse me, I have a lot of thinking to do. Hi there. Lub dub. What was that? Lub dub, lub dub, lub dub. Uh. Lub. Because this is a heart. Are you a depressed dinosaur? Why so glum, Dino Chum? Well, I'm from an old textbook, and it turns out I'm not considered a real dinosaur anymore. Please don't tell the librarian. She'll throw my whole book out. The Raz archetype is voiced by the same actor that voiced Kerr from Invaders. Wow, I said that as like a joke, and it's actually what they did. That's great. <laughs> I love that. Once you had a little goober zim, uh, once you have a because 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 oh my god it is yeah because he's the same voice because like this is the same voice actor that played Zim and he had a little goober that just walked around and was just a little pain in the ass and him being voiced by so bringing back Gurr's voice actor would be great oh my god it <laughs> I was already quoting him this playthrough I got chocolate bubble gum excuse me yes. Are you in pain? To be free of the flesh is to be free of pain, my child. I hate this. How did you lose your skin? I donated my body to medical science. I had no idea this is what they had in mind. You did it. You freed your skin, just like Shik Hydrobot always wanted. Yikes. Are you mad about it? Skin's actually a lot more trouble than it's worth, to be honest. I'm free of rashes, itching, pimples. Immunity to disease. Aren't you cold? Cold is a feeling of the flesh, my friend. No skin, no cold. You look like you could teach me a lot about anatomy. You bet. How's this for starters? There's one of me inside of you. Which wolf are you? Gross. Hey, that's insensitive. Why aren't you like dripping blood and stuff. It happens from time to time, but I just go over to the horror books and drip on them. They like it. Bye, muscle man. Bye, baggy old clothes boy. They either like it or they can't complain, one of those. Hey, maybe you should try reading books instead of eating them. Read books? What is that, some no fad diet? Oy. Sounds like a good way to starve to death. I think it just goes back. Bring him back. Maximum goober, never. Here, you big round ball of love. <laughs> so I, I think if I use projection on this door, my archetype would go in there. Under the door like a pesky pill. <laughs> he sounds a little different. Or she? I actually don't know who voice acted her. I just got I just got as far as a th thing that mentions confirming that I was right, but I didn't find the voice actor in time. Don't want to full on stop everything. Hello. You. Dodge this. If it's not a projectile, you can't dodge it. You can technically, but it's like, you know, a Doom Fist ult. It's a little different. Hello.
This is really cool looking. All the layered page art. Looking like a topographic map. All cut to different sizes. Hey, do you bite people? Periodically. Was that a pun? I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of what it is. Is he a me seeks that slowly just gets like losing his mind when I keep bringing him back to life too often? Hey, you two! Not a good time. Nice sword. Twas bequeathed to me by the fair lady of the lake, so that I may slay this dragon. What did I ever do to you? Yeah, wow, rude. What are you guys fighting about? No idea. I was just chilling when the crusader here got all aggro on me. Let those be thy last words, worm from hell! Sir, I'm from Detroit. Hey, can I borrow that sword? Yes, please take it. Nay, for tis my duty most holy to embed its steel into this deadly beast. See? What normal person talks that way? I feel like you're the one being all deadly right now. Is there a way we could maybe de-escalate this situation? This guy and his horse are just straight up jerks. <laughs> I agree, Silverwind. Dragons are a plague on our land. How'd you make the horse racist? Mr. Knight? That's Sir Knight to you. Sir Knight? Maybe you should just leave that dragon alone? Have you allied yourself with the devil's winged serpent? Hey, kid. Don't worry about it. I already called the cops. I'm just keeping this weirdo occupied until they get here. Summon whatever reinforcements you wish. We'll need them to haul your stinking carcass away. <laughs> okay, buddy. Sir, I can light things on fire with my mind, and guess what you're made of? Maybe we should focus on what you two have in common. Like, do you guys like pizza? Oh, yeah. Me... me too. Well, that's amazing. I had no idea dragons liked pizza. Here comes pineapple. Great. What are your favorite flavors? Yep. Pepperoni. Well, I usually get half and half. On one side, I like pineapple and ham. Yes! On the other side, I like maidens and cheese. Yes! Oh, my God! Pineapple and ham is an abomination. Fuck you. I knew you were a fell beast. This dragon is my best friend now. Yeah, don't worry. This guy's all talk. I am merely finishing up my pre-smoting prayers. Whatever. I think I hear something. Just give me a minute. I'm going to go order my pineapple and pizza.